Good evening. This is All India Radio Kohima. I'm Jonas Yantan with Evening News. The headlines. President Ramnath Govind says India's higher education system has expanded to reach out to serve to rural and marginalized sections. Center releases revenue deficit grant of over 6,194 crore rupees to 14 states, including Nagaland. Nagaland Deputy Chief Minister concludes tour of DE Assembly constituency. And no new COVID-19 positive case reported in Nagaland for the third consecutive day. President Ramnath Govind has said that India's higher education system has expanded to reach out to serve the rural and marginalised sections of the society. Addressing the 16th annual convocation of Tiruvalluvar University at Velour today, the President said that India has become the third largest education system in the world but still has to aspire for greater heights. Uploading the great works of poet Tiruvalluvar, he said that it was necessary to impipe his noble teachings. Recalling that Velour's Sipoy uprising of 1806 was one of the precursors to our independence movement, President Govin described that imparting quality education to students, many of whom are from economically and educationally backward regions, was a noble cause. He listed out the engineering marvel of Grand Anikant and the achievements of great mathematicians and scientists like S. Ramanujan, the Nobel laureates C. V. Raman and S. Chandrasekhar and his illustrious predecessors R. Vengata Raman and Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam, who are great sons of this soil. The president expressed his happiness that 65% of the students in the university were women. He told that when the women of our country are educated, it not only secures their own future, but also of the entire country. The centre has released revenue deficit grant of over 6,194 crore rupees to 14 states, including Nagaland today. With the release of this instalment, a total amount of 74,340 crore rupees has been released to eligible states as post-devolution revenue deficit grant in the current financial year. According to the Ministry of Finance, with this 100% of the amount recommended by the Finance Commission for this grant in this year has been released. The eligibility of states to receive this grant and the quantum of grant was decided by the Commission based on the gap between assessment of revenue and expenditure of the state after taking into account the assessed devolution for the financial year 2020-21. The states which have been recommended post-devolution revenue deficit grant by the 15th Finance Commission are Andhra Pradesh, Assam, Himachal Pradesh, Kerala, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland, Punjab, Sikkim, Tamil Nadu, Tripura, Uttarakhand and West Bengal. Nagaland Deputy Chief Minister Y. Patan concluded his three-day tour of 37 DE Assembly constituency by visiting 21 villages under the constituency he represents. On the final leg of his tour, he covered England Range, consisting of eight villages. He paid a visit to Government High School at England, which is the only high school for the whole range. Button interacted with the teachers and students and encouraged them to bring forth the best of results among the government schools and also assured to give financial assistance for tables, desks and furniture items for the school. No new COVID-19 positive case was reported in Nagaland for the third consecutive day today. State Health and Family Welfare Minister S. Pongyopom in a tweet informed that eight COVID patients have recovered from the state today, seven from Kohima and one from Dimapu. The total active COVID-19 case in the state has come down to 10, while the recovery rate has reached 11,963. Total positive cases detected in the state remains at 12,217. Nagaland government will celebrate India's 75 years of independence, Azadi Ka Amrut Mahotsav, on Friday at Nagaland Civil Secretariat Plaza. Government is organising a programme of march this Friday from High School Junction to Secretariat Plaza in Kohima to commemorate 75 years of India's independence. In this regard, Kohima police informed that a stretch of road between High School Junction to Secretariat, Billy Graham Road Junction via Sonora Bridge will be designated as one-way road from 9am onwards till the program is over. 
A traffic advisory from the police said only vehicles going down the Secretariat from High School Junction will be allowed to ply. Police said vehicles going up to high school from Secretariat shall take diversion towards Billy Graham Road. This news comes to you from All India Radio, Kohima. Dirat Singh Rawat took oath as the Chief Minister of Uttarakhand in Dehradun today. He was administered the oath of office by Uttarakhand Governor Baby Rani Maurya. Earlier, accompanied by BJB MLAs and MPs, Rawat met the Governor at Rajpavan to stake his claim to form the government. Dirat Singh Rawat was the state BJP president from 2013 to 2015 and he is currently the party's national secretary. Trivendra Singh Rawat stepped down as Uttarakhand's chief minister yesterday. Both the Houses of Parliament passed legislation today amid ruckus created by opposition parties over the issue of farm laws. The opposition parties hard-pressed on their demand of holding a discussion under Rule 267 over the farm laws. In the Lok Sabha, when the House met post-lunch after repeated adjournments, the opposition party members trooped into the well and raised slogans against the government. Lok Sabha Speaker Om Billa expressed unhappiness over the ruckus in the House. In the Rajya Sabha also, when the House met after the repeated adjournments, opposition parties trooped into the well and started sloganeering against the three farm laws. Amidst the noisy scene, the House took up the Arbitration and Conciliation Amendment Bill 2021. After passing the bill, the House was adjourned for the day. Woka Superintendent of Police Imti Doshi has notified traffic regulation for vehicles plying on NH61 in view of survey work for whitening of the existing single intermediate lane road to two lane road from kilometer 71.40 to kilometer 83 on NH61. All vehicles coming from Magukchun Road will be diverted towards Mother Church via Old Block Office. Vehicular movement from Old Block Office Junction towards Police Point will be one way only and the stretch from Hornbill Restaurant to NST Junction will be a no parking zone. Police said the regulation will be enforced from 9am to 4pm and it will continue till such date the survey work is completed. The Finance Department Budget and Monitoring Cell, Nagalin, in an office memorandum informed that the oral evidence meeting of the Public Accounts Committee, PSC, has been fixed at 11 a.m. from 17th March to 19th March 2021 in the committee room of the Assembly Secretariat. The PSC meeting concerns examination of different government departments mentioned in the report of the Comptroller and Auditor General of India for the year 2017-18. To facilitate the effective meeting of the committee, concerned AHODs and HODs have been advised to be available in station and to attend the meeting adequately prepared as per the time schedule to be communicated by the Nagalan Legislative Assembly Secretariat. A total of over 2 crore for the 3 lakh people have been administered COVID-19 vaccines in the country so far. Meanwhile, the country's COVID-19 recovery rate reached 96.96% with a total recovery of more than 20,000 patients in the last 24 hours. Presently, the total number of active cases in the country is 1,84,598, which comprises only 1.64% of the total positive cases. The total positive cases is over 1 crore 12 lakh. The Health Ministry said 133 deaths have been reported during the last 24 hours, taking the toll to over 1 lakh 58,000 across the country. And as the nation fights COVID-19 pandemic, let us all remember to stay safe and protected by following these three simple steps. Wear a face mask, wash hands frequently with soap and water, or use hand sanitizer and follow social distancing norms. And now to end the news here at the main points again. President Ramla Govind says India's higher education system has expanded to reach out to serve the rural and marginalized sections. Centre releases revenue deficit grant of over 6,194 crore rupees to 14 states, including Nagaland. Nagaland Deputy Chief Minister concludes tour of DE Assembly constituency. 
and no new COVID-19 positive case reported in Nagaland for the third consecutive day today. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.